Your whole family is is in Gaza, right? What has the last three months been like and how, how are you feeling now? Everything on me is related to a loss. This glasses is made by Khurshid company in, in Gaza. It's a very famous company that do uh, optical stuff. They have so many branches. I made it just before coming here. And all the family, all Khurshid family, is wiped off now in this genocide. This one is made by Palestinian women who have been working in something called Beit al Aman, so the safety house. It's a governmental uh, home uh, established in 2011 to protect battered women. It was created by one of the survivors at the house, a very lovely woman called Emma Sbah who spent multiple days and nights there to take care of those women and young girls, leaving her own family. And yesterday, I knew that she was killed. Like, I, I can't look at myself, uh, I can't look at my ring. My husband is in Gaza. I can't even be with him. I don't know the amount of suffering he's suffering from. I remember my marriage, it was a traditional wedding, a very beautiful one. The people who photo taped my wedding is our beloved friend Rushd Sarraj, a journalist, and his beautiful wife, Shirouk. They're good friends of mine and my husband, very dear friends. They attended our wedding and we attended their wedding. They just got married four days after us. And they had one wish, that their daughter would never be an orphan because her mother, my friend Shirouk, was raised as an orphan, no father, no mother. The house of uh, Rushdi Saraj was bombed and Rushdi was killed. So even when I look at the memories, our beautiful memories for me and my husband, my family, I cannot erase the, the idea that the beautiful souls, Rushdi and, and, and Shuru, were there to celebrate us and videotape that for us, and that he was killed. So it's not just our entire like life now is, is full of tragedy and genocide, but even our beautiful memories, they have literally taken and eradicated the people we loved all over our lives. All my friends in Gaza, all of them, female friends, all of them either killed or widowed and have their own children orphans. I am so afraid of facing the same reality as they are. And I'm at the same time feeling guilty of fearing that reality. And this is the type of cares that Israel creates for the Palestinians. You cannot seek happiness because you will, you will feel guilty and you cannot be happy because they will kill you or kill your beloved people before you feel happiness.